Barrel tuners have been around for years. I've seen dates describing devices as far back as 1921. However, those have been for powder burners. And 12 months ago, Chris Turek and FX came out with this. A tuner, all this, for PCP air guns. So it's not new in that sense, it's just adapted. Now, I don't doubt within the next few years, most other manufacturers will come out and do the same thing. They all copy each other, don't you know? And actually, stop press, as I've been recording this video, they already are. So, for now and for the future, I want to answer a question. Does this, or this, actually do anything? Disclosure time. This video is made in association with airgun101.com, the best place to see the latest airgun videos from the best creators in the world. Free to watch videos that are added daily. And my day job is airgun101shop.co.uk for all the latest gadgets and gizmos in the airgun world. So please do go and check that out. Back to the tuners then. It's simple. In high power, this one here, and in sub 12, this one here, does it do anything? So we all know for now and years to come, is it worth spending your buttons and bananas on? Do these things actually tune anything? I mean, why bother? I mean, what's harmonic tuning? Wow, when you fire your PCP rifle or any rifle, it pushes air down the barrel. That causes a vibration. Now, you may not see it, you may not feel it, but in the world of micro reactions, that barrel is probably ringing like a bell. Imagine, if you can, the dampeners they put on the top or bottom of a skyscraper in an earthquake zone. They harmonically tune the building to take the shake out. Also, when an army marches over a suspension bridge, they may be told to break step to stop the harmonics from shaking the bridge apart. It's the same thing, reducing vibration. And when a barrel vibrates, that movement is projected downrange and it gets bigger the further out you go. So stop the vibration or tune the harmonics and voila, you might have better accuracy. I have two incarnations made by FX, the one integrated with the shroud and the standalone removable one. Now, the one attached to the shroud is going to make your Impact M3 or Maverick more rigid in the shroud area. That could be a good thing. So it actually does more than just tune. It integrates with the end of the barrel system itself, making everything more harmonic. Inside is also some deresonating O-rings, apparently. I don't know. The standalone tuner just screws on to any rifle with a half-inch UNF fitting, and away you go. One thing is that with that standalone tuner, it's 190 grams, approximately, so it adds weight to the end of the barrel. That's more of a point of aim change compared to the one integrated with the shroud. It's fairly simple. A weighted metal lump on a thread that turns. When it turns, the weight moves forward and back. The weight is not lopsided or has any extra weight on one side or the other. It just moves forward and back. The more rigid shroud helps control the vibration and the ability to use the weighted tuner will help the harmonics to be controlled, so they say. It's a giant dampener, but does it work? Let's find out. Firstly, I think the bigger the bang, the more vibration. So I started with a 30 cal. That's the biggest I have. I would love to see a 35 one day, maybe. With the shroud and tuner on board, let's shoot. I've selected 75 yards, and the reason being is 100 yards is just too much affected by the wind. 75 is a happy medium of distance over weather-affected shooting. Starting at my top marker on the tuner, I fire five shots, move the tuner, and only the tuner, no other settings, and shoot 
five more and do this for a whole rotation of the tuner and see what the results are. Now, with all the variations and settings possible, speed, weight of pellet, etc., etc., I cannot give you a definitive setting or instruction on how to shoot the perfect group. Remember, my question here today is, do these things do anything? Straight away, without any hesitation, I can say the pellet moves. Yes, it moves. Every time I turn that tuner, the pellet moves to a different location. I can't argue with it. it, it just does it. All you need to do now is choose your speed, pellet, and do some more experimenting with the combination of all that. And of course, you've now got the ability to tune and drift those pellets. You've actually got like another quiver in your armory. Is that the right saying? Another bow in your quiver? Hmm. Now, slugs are different. A whole new ball game. I don't want to test the tuner on a rifle already tuned or altered for slug shooting. I want to see what it will do with a factory standard M3. Normally for slugs you need power kits, extra liners, things and springs and stuff like that. But does the turret tuner actually do anything with slugs? This box is my excellent proof of concept. Now my M3 that I'm shooting is factory standard. There's nothing special about it, it's a standard liner, standard everything. I've adjusted the quick tune system on the side and I've tweaked the reg a little bit at the back just to change between calibers like I do. But the only fundamental change I've made is that I've put that shroud and tuner system on. So, shooting slugs at 75 yards and they're the hybrids, it says, well, okay, in a gentle breeze, one setting you get that. And then you give it a good twist and you get that. So we've gone from that to that, just by turning that tuner. And then we move it back a little bit and try and refine it, and we get that. And then we refine it just a little bit more, and we get that. Now you'd be happy with that because you'd dial to that, because that's my point of aim there, and you'd be happy with that group. Now the magic trick for everyone out there is to then retain being able to do that all the time. And I would say with slugs that you're probably going to need a liner and a lot more time to tune the gun to keep that going. But what it is, is a proof of concept. Does that tuner move stuff around downrange? And my answer to that is yes. Now, let's be clear. I think you need liners, power kits, and hours and hours of tuning to get slugs right. Because those results, while I can replicate them, it's far easier with a rifle tuned for slugs. So will a turret tuner instantly dial your rifle for slugs? No, but it shows how the tuner's results are magnified downrange. Now, sub 12 foot pound, and I'm going to take what I've learned from the slugs and go a little strange. Normally, I would ramble on about JSB at this point, saying JSB this and that, blah, blah, blah. But I want this to be about the tuner and not the pellet. So maybe a pellet not used by the manufacturer might magnify the result. And because the bang is smaller, I think the results will be smaller. So I need to magnify them. For this part of the experiment, I'm using my 177 Impact M3 my sub 12 tuner and all my kit because this is my kit i bought it with my money i was so impressed with it i actually put my money where my mouth is so all this is mine i am using the bisley magnums now they work well i use them out to around 25 yards normally they tend to group a little larger at 50 yards now is that the pellet the barrel the shooter well, let's see if the turret tuner can make this any better. As we can see at 26 yards, it's one hole. No matter how much I rotate that tuner, uh, nothing really massively changes. However, if you were being picky, and I do mean picky, you could say the group might get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger and smaller. How about out to 53 yards? Well, it's the same as the 26 yard group. 
its five shots and rotate the tuner. But the group moves ever so slightly and after turning the tuner back and forth I do find a couple of sweet spots. So it's small, quite small in adjustment, but it's there. I do think without the stable setup here that I have, it would possibly go unnoticed to some, but it is doing something. What's interesting is I would never normally consider the Bisley Magnums out to sort of 50 yards, but these results might change my mind. It may not be a bad thing to find a JSB alternative, seeing as we can't get them in the UK anymore. I can hear you shouting out there. What does the group look like without the tuner at 26 and 53? Well, I did that too with the Bisleys. And while you have to look hard, the groups with the tuner, I think, are tighter. Only by a few mil, but I think they're tighter. Now, I've been experimenting with 2.5 in sub 12, and I thought, what does the turret tuner as the removable version do with my groups? I mean, after all, it's heavier ammo, moving a lot slower. Well, I can tell you the results bear out again. The groups at 20 yards, I think, are ever so slightly tighter. And at 53 yards, again, I feel it's slightly more accurate. So I think it must be doing something with that air when it goes down the barrel. It's got to be doing something. All my rifles that I've tried it on have got free floating barrels. That's what I've tested it on. If you're using something with a barrel band, I'm not too sure what sort of results you're going to get. But the removable version does fit anything with a half inch UNF thread. I would recommend anything over sort of like about a centimeter long and you might get a little bit of a gap between the thread and the back of the tuner. So it can fit lots of other brands as well. Yes, you are adding weight to the end of the barrel. There. But with that shroud, it's actually quite stiff. That's a little heavier because it's not supported by that shroud. And there are those of you out there that will cry. You can use other stuff. You can indeed. You can use other things. Some people use washers or rubber tubes holding weights on. Some dial and weight their moderators. I've seen that before. And I've actually found that some of the best groups I've ever shot have come from hanging the FX chronograph off the end of my barrel. If you're not using the shroud supported version and you're just using the standalone removable tuner, it is 190 grams at the end of your barrel and you're going to get a bit of a droop. But weirder things might happen and it might actually be good for the harmonics. To answer my original question then, does this stuff do anything? Yes. Yes, it does. The bigger the power, the more the movement and it varies across ammo. Is it the answer to make everything super accurate just by screwing this stuff on? No, no. You still need to consider a lot of other factors. It's an addition to your armory. It's something to help. If you want ultimate accuracy, you cannot refuse it as a possibility. Can PCP rifles still outshoot us without a barrel tuner? Yes, yes they can. But humans want to experiment. It's in our nature. I hope this has been useful for you. Maybe helped you to decide if it's for you or not. And hopefully in the future when other variations arrive, you'll have a basis of an answer from this video as to whether or not they actually do anything. Because the interesting thing is if you look at Instagram on a daily basis, everyone is launching their own version of a barrel tuner. FX is the only one doing it with the shroud though, from what I can see so far. But literally it's like daily breaking news. Here's our barrel tuner. Mm, I don't know which one to go for. What I can tell you is that these do appear to be incredibly well made. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and you could always subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And above all else, in these very weird times, stay well and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.